Hallelujah. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give honor to Pastor. I'm thankful for his leadership. Sister B, thank you for the encouragement yesterday. You don't know how much that touched my heart. Uh, the Bimbries, they're probably up. Oh, there they are. Thank you for your prayers for my business and for me and my wife. We've got some good leadership here at NAC. Amen. I want to give honor to our guest speakers this morning, brother and sister Johnson. Sister Johnson, you ministered to us yesterday. Thank you for your passion, your anointing. Brother Johnson, I was moved to tears. I did a little journal of the tree and examining what kind of fruit I got on there. And the Lord's going to do some pruning this year. But he loves those whom he chastens. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Anyways, let's get into the word, I guess. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verses 4 through 6. You don't have to turn there. It's on the screen. The Bible says, He that observeth the wind shall not sow, and he that regardeth the cloud shall not reap, as thou knowest not what is the way of the Spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child. Even so thou knowest not the works of God, who maketh all. In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thine hand, for thou knowest not whether it shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Amen. You may be seated. I follow, uh, I follow a couple people on the YouTube, and one of my favorite, um, what's it called, uh, edutainment channels teaches you a little bit something, makes you laugh. Graham Stephan, one of my favorite YouTubers, he covered an article this week about the biggest investment regrets of 2019. And it said that 70% of investors last year had regrets. When we looked at the regrets that the investors had, the three main ones are listed here. 15% uh, of investors wish that they made more trades in 2019. 16% of investors wish they invested more aggressively in 2019. And a whopping 35%, say 35%, wish they invested more money in 2019. Listen, I'm here to tell you I'm not a big investor. I'm trying to get my own business off the ground. I don't have any stocks. I don't have any uh, hard metals. I don't have anything like that. But I can tell you I'm part of a kingdom that I want to be investing in. And the Lord can help me work on that other stuff too. Amen. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. And I pray that if we have reflected on last year, I'm sure not a single one of us is going to say, I gave too much to the kingdom last year. I, I ministered to too many people last year. I poured myself too much into too many people last year. Not a single one of us is going to say this, but if we did reflect on those investors in North America, hopefully our spiritual life will line up with that and say, you know what? I wish I would have poured into more people. I wish I would have poured more into the people I was connected with. I wish I would have poured more of myself, time, talent, treasures into the kingdom. But that's all right. What year is this? Let's forget those things which are behind. Last year is over. It's done. The book has been closed. I don't want to carry over any regrets, but I am going to make some decisions moving forward in 2020. Can I get a witness from somebody? I need to have an investment strategy. And if you read Ecclesiastes 11 later on, you'll know that you should be diversifying. You should not stop when the markets are up, not stop when the markets are down. You know, in my generation, I graduated school during the Great Recession of 08. All my generation knows is it can drop big and gas can be four and a half dollars a gallon. It can drop real big. So people in my generation are a little bit shy when it comes to investing. We like having hard assets. We like having cash in the account. We like having gold and silver and maybe some other assets. But I'm here to tell you, we cannot allow past experiences, past outcomes to dictate our future investments. 
Come on, somebody. You are not responsible for the results. Let me remind you in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, I have planted, Apollos has watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, nor he that watereth anything, but God that gives the increase. I'm here to tell somebody, you have something to give. You have something to invest. You might feel like you don't have nothing or able to give nothing, but there's a general call to all hands on deck. You have something to give in 2020. You have something to do in 2020. You have a ministry to get involved in this year. If you believe that, can you clap your hands? Hallelujah. Jesus was moved with compassion on the multitude, and he said unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. While I was seeking the Lord for his perfect word for this very brief message, he spoke to me. And I'm here to say there's good news and bad news. The bad news is... It's not time to rest. I know we like some rest. I love some rest. That's a little bit of what's on my tree. Amen. I need to prune some of that off. <clears throat> Help us, Lord. We ain't perfect yet. Hallelujah. The good news. It's time to work for the harvest. And your work will bring forth a great harvest. I'll say that again for somebody. It's time to go to work for the harvest, and our work will be productive. Somebody needs to go ahead and claim it. Somebody needs to go ahead and receive it. I'm not going to have investment regrets in 2020. I'm going to pull out the stops. I'm going to give this everything I've got because it's too valuable. But lay up yourselves treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I want to give my heart to the kingdom. If that's your prayer, stand up and give the Lord a hand clap of praise.